welcome back and in this video I'm going to discuss about associativity for subtraction and division so let us start our discussion by checking whether subtraction follows associative property or not and we'll do it we'll try to do this using the examples as we have done uh, as we have checked for associativity earlier for multiplication and addition so let us say that we want to subtract three numbers okay and for it I will take a simpler example here I will subtract 6 minus 3 minus 2 now we want to do the subtraction now this subtraction I can do it in two ways right? I can do it two ways at the moment if I want to group the numbers so first way in which I can group the numbers is I can group the first two numbers together for subtraction which is followed by subtraction with the other number so this gives me 6 minus 3 it gives me 3 and when I subtract and then I have to subtract this 3 I have to subtract 2 from 3 and this will give us our final result as 1 now let us try to do this subtraction in another way we change the grouping now 6 minus I will group the last two numbers together for subtracting so in this case we will get 6 minus 3 minus 2 gives me 1 and 6 minus 1 gives me 5 that is surprising because when I group numbers in one way we get a result which is 1 but whereas when I am subtracting the results right when the results are grouped in another way I get another result so this implies that results are different if the grouping of numbers is changed change during subtraction Now, based on this, we can conclude that subtraction is not associated for whole numbers. now why we should keep this property in mind this property in mind it's a very important property the reason why it's important for us to know this is that be careful when you are trying to subtract two numbers right be careful with the groupings because one set of grouping will give different answer and other set of grouping will give you some another answer okay now let us try to check the associative property for for division and we will proceed in the same way as we did for subtraction I would like to divide three numbers so let us say that we divide 16 by 4 divided by 2 now again I can do this operation in two ways I can do this division first I group the first two numbers together this will be my first division which will be divided by so 16 by 4 gives me 4 which when divided by 2 will give us 2 so this is the first way now we change the order of the grouping we do 16 divided by 4 divided by 2 so I will do the division of these two first right so 4 divided by 2 gives me 2 so 16 divided by 2 is 8 so what happens here 
if I change the order of the groupings or if I change the groupings right the results are different so we can just capture this the results are different if the groupings are changed during it has to be division so based on this we can conclude that subtraction is not associated associative for whole numbers this is what we have learned here now what does this tell you right why is this result important this result is important because it tells us that we must be very careful when we are grouping for the numbers for example here when I did one grouping okay in this case it was 16 by 4 and in the other case we change our grouping right so when we change the groupings the results that we get are different hence we should be careful in the grouping that is what it implies now uh, in this final conclusion video for associative property for whole numbers let me summarize on how to check for associativity so how do we do it so we have three numbers we take three numbers second step change groupings change groupings for the numbers okay check results check results for both methods and if results are same are the results you should check whether the results are same if yes it implies that that operation right whatever the mathematical operation you are performing it follows associative property and if are you should check if results are different yes if they are different then it is not associative that particular and we also learned that addition and multiplication are associative whereas division and subtraction are not associated see you soon in the next discussion